Hey, everyone. Welcome back to Web's lesson, the go-to place for all things coding and development. Today we have got an exciting tutorial in store for you. So, if you want to learn how to upload files in React.js application, then you are in the right place, because here, we have show you file upload in React. We will be breaking down the entire process step by step and making it super easy for you to implement file uploads seamlessly in your React projects. But hey, we will not just stop there. We will also cover some nifty tips and best practices along the way. And by the end of this tutorial, you will not only know how to integrate file upload functionality, but also understand the inner workings. So you can customize it to fit in your unique needs. Now let's discussing this topic. So we have already download React library in our computer. And here we have open React project in text editor. So if you want to learn how to download and install React. So we have put React installation video link under this video description. Now for upload file in React application, we will use PHP API for backend. Now we have open app.jsx file and under this file we have to write open and close bracket and between this we have to write use state and use reference hook under this import statement. Here the use state hook returns an array with two elements like the current state value and a function to update that value and use reference hook used to interact with the DOM directly like targeting and manipulating specific HTML elements. After this, we have goes into app functional component. And here we have to write constant selected file. And set select file variable is equal to user state hook with null value. Here the first variable selected file holds the current state value. And the second variable set selected file is a function that can be used to update the state. So this code we will use for store selected file data. Below this we have to write destructing array with two variable like image link and set image link is equal to use state hook initialize with null value. So this array we will use for store uploaded image link under this variable. Next for store validation error, here we have to write array destructuring. To declare two variables like validation error and set validation error is equal to use state hook with initialize null value, so it will set validation error variable value to null. After this, we have to declare file input variable is equal to use reference hook which is initialized with null value. So this file input reference variable we will use for clear file tag value after the uploading of file. Now we have move for create file upload form so we have goes into return statement. And first we have to remove this code and paste this HTML code. Now here first we want to create file tag for select file from computer. So here we have to write input type is equal to file. And here we have to write reference attribute is equal to file input reference variable. Now we have goes to JavaScript code part and here we have to write handle file change callback function with event as parameter. This is an event handler for file input change event. So when we have select file then this function will be called. Under this function, we have to write file variable is equal to event.target.files with zero index. So here, it will assign value of selected file. After this, we have to write if statement and under condition, we have to write file variable. This condition will check if file selected, then only it will execute if block of code. Under this block, we have create an array 
with named allowed extension. And under this, we have store valid extension in an array format. After this, we have want to get selected file extension. So here we have to write selected file extension variable is equal to this JavaScript code. So it will extract the file extension from the selected file name. After getting selected file extension, now we want to check selected file extension exists in an allowed extension variable array. So for this, here we have to write if statement and under condition, we have to write allowed extension variable dot includes method and under this, we have to write selected file extension variable. So if selected file extension is exists in allowed extension variable value, then it will execute if block of code and here we have to called set selected file function with file variable. So it will updates the state variable selected file value with the selected file name. After this, we have called set validation error function with null value as parameter. So it will clears any previous validation error by setting it to null. But suppose selected file extension not found in allowed extension, then it will execute else block of code. And here we have called set selected file function with null as parameter. So it will resets the selected file state to null. After this, we have called set validation error function with message like invalid file extension, please select a file with this allowed extension. So it will set a validation error message, which we will be display on web page. And after this, we have to write file input reference variable dot current dot value is equal to blank. So it will clears the file input value and here our handle file change function is ready. Now we want to call this function when we have select file using this file tag. So here in file tag, we have to write on change attribute is equal to handle file change function. So when we have select file, then this function will be called. Now we want to make function for upload file. So here we have to create handle upload asynchronous function and under this function we have to write if statement and under condition we have to write selected file variable. If this variable value is not set then it will execute else block of code. And here we have to called this set validation error function and in argument we have to write error message like please select file before uploading. But suppose this variable value is set then it will execute if block of code. And here we have to create one form data variable is equal to new form data object. So here we have use form data object for send data to server. Now under this object, we want to add selected file data. So here we have to write form data variable dot append method with two parameter. In first parameter, we have to write file key of object. And in second parameter, we have to write selected file in which we have store selected file data. Now for send data to server. So here we will use JavaScript fetch API. So for this, here we have to write constant response variable is equal to await fetch method with two parameter. In first parameter, we have to define upload file PHP API link, which will upload file on server. And in second parameter, we have to define different option for send request to server. So in first option, we have to write method, which is set to post. And in second option, we have to write body and here we have to write form data. So this data will be sent to server. Now we want to store server response data in local variable. So here we have to write 
constant response data variable is equal to await response dot json function so it will store data in json format after this we want to store upload image link under this image link variable so here we have called set image link function and under parameter we have to write response data dot image link variable so it will set value under this image link variable and after uploading file we want to clear value of file tag so here we have to write file input reference variable dot current dot value is equal to blank so it will clear value of file tag so here our handle upload function is ready now we want to call this function when we have click on upload button so here in button attribute we have to write on click attribute is equal to handle upload function so when we have click on upload button then it will send selected file to php api after this we want to display validation error on web page so here we have to write validation error variable and an operator so if this variable value is set then it will execute this bracket code and here we have to write paragraph tag with attribute class name is equal to text danger and between this we have to write validation error variable so it will display validation error on web page same way we want to display uploaded image so here we have to write image link variable and an operator so if this variable value is set then it will execute this bracket code and here we have to write this html code and after this we have create one image tag with source is equal to image link variable so this code will display uploaded image on web page without refresh of web page so here our code is ready now we move to php code for upload file so here in api folder we have already create one upload.php file so we have to open this file under this file first we have to write header function and under this we have to write access control all origin option and here we have to write star so this is a common configuration which is used to allow requests from different domains which is especially used in web services and in an api after this we have to write second header function and under this we have to write allow control and allow headers which is tells the server to accept any http headers incoming requests next we have to write third header and under this we have to write access control and allow methods and it is specifies that the server allow any http method after this we have to write dollar upload directory variable is equal to upload directory name next we want to get selected file extension so for this here we have to write dollar file name array variable is equal to php explode function with two parameter in first parameter we have to write dot string delimiter and in second parameter we have to write dollar files with file and name index so it will convert file name into an array after this we have to write dollar file name variable is equal to php time function and after this we have append code like php end function and in parameter we have to write dollar file name array variable so this php end function will return selected file extension and this line of code will generate new file name so here we have generate new file name before uploading of file next we have to define file path so here we have to write dollar upload file variable is equal to dollar upload directory variable dot dollar file name variable so here we have define upload file path after this we have to write dollar image link variable is equal to link of uploaded image with new name next we want to check upload directory is already created or not if not created 
then we have to create it. So for this, here we have to write, if statement, and under condition, we have to write. Not operator with, php file exists function, with dollar upload directory variable. So this condition will check, if upload directory is not exists, then it will execute, if block of code. And here, we have called, php make directory function, with three parameter. So in first parameter, we have to write, dollar upload directory variable. In second parameter, we have to write, 0777 permission, and in third parameter, we have to write true, so this code will create, directory for upload file. Now for upload file, here we have to write, if statement, and under condition, we have to write, php move uploaded file function, with two parameter, and here, in first parameter, we have to write, temporary file location, and in second parameter, we have to define, uploading file location. So this condition will check, if file successfully upload, then it will execute, if block of code. And here, we have to write, php echo statement, with php json encode function. And under this function, we have to write, this data, in an array format. So here, we have send, uploaded file location to client, which will be display on web page. So here, our code is ready, now for check output in browser, so we have first goes to command prompt. And here, we have run this command, which will start React server, and provide us, base URL of React application. So friends, here in browser, we have opened this base URL, so here we can see that. Web page has been opened in the browser, and here we can see file tag, and upload button, which are display on web page. Now first we want to check, validation error, so we have directly click on upload button, without selecting file. So here on web page, we can see error message like, please select a file before uploading. So here, we have select, non-image file from our local computer. And click on upload button, so after click on upload button, here we can see that. Invalid file extension, please select a file with this extension, so this error message has been displayed. So here, both validation is working properly, now we want to upload image file. So again, we have click on file tag, and select image from local computer. And after selecting image, now we have click on upload button, so after click on upload button. Here we can see that, image has been uploaded, and here on web page, we can see that. Uploaded image has been display, without refresh of web page. So this way, we can upload, image file in react with validation and display on web page, without refresh of web page. If you find this video helpful, so do not forget to give it a thumbs up, and subscribe to the channel, and hit that notification bell, so you never miss out.